Well, hello everybody. I thought I'd do one more video using Astrophotography Tool. And I say one more because I received my ASI 1600. I got it back from ZWO uh, rather quickly, much faster than I expected to get it back. Anyways, uh, I will continue with my object I've been imaging tonight. I'm going after IC2162 in the upper part of Orion. It's an HA nebula. Anyways, uh, what I usually do is I, s I would start off and do a uh, one-star alignment if it needs it. And um, if it doesn't need it, I, d I still go to a star to frame and focus, so it really it doesn't matter. Let's see what I get. I, I first, I just started off Astrophotography Tool. I press the camera, and I see nothing. And let me just show you a couple things here. First off, if you turn on Astrophotography Tool and you don't see this, this thing, this histogram thing, I'll turn it off. Uh, you have to come over to Tools and press Histogram, and then this will uh, this will appear. And this is similar to the uh, ASI 1600. All right, I'm going to press Live View and see what I get. And there's Live View. And if I turn it off, the Live View function, it's the, it's not stretched right now. This little star over here, that is Polaris. And I will turn the Live View function back on, and you can see how uh, much brighter the screen is. What I would do now is, if I wanted to do a one-star alignment, and that's all I really need to do, uh, because I use plate solving, I would just point it towards a star and then zoom into it. Right now, I don't think I really need to do that. I think I'm going to just... Actually, I will. I'm, I, I'm sorry. I am going to do that right now. I'm going to slew it to um, Aldebaran. So you, I would press the gear, connect the scope, telescope and the handset appears and the telescope is connected. What I'm going to do is I'm going to press objects, stars, and I'm going to press Aldebaran. Hello, Aldebaran. Yeah, there it is. Press OK, and then press Go To. Let's see what I get. Well, how about that? There's Aldebaran right in the, almost in the center. Uh, with this tell, with the, with my mount, it um, it s saves the alignments. So it's 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 great having a a, uh, a telescope already set up and aligned. Anyways, next what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a uh, just a plate cell to get it smack dab in the center. I pause. I'm getting tongue twisted. It's just I'm not used to using the, uh, the DSLR to do all this. Anyway, so I've got Aldebaran in there, and I'm going to actually try to center it up, and I'm going to use plate solving to do that. So I press point craft, press objects, and it's already got Aldebaran uh, right there. So I press object. Now, one thing you got to do is you got to turn it off live view, and you got to shoot an image. And let's take a look at what we've got for our image shooting. I'm going to go with a, a two-second image and just press shoot. And now I'm ready to press solve. Okay, and I'm going to press sync, and then I'm going to press object to have it go to it, to center it up. And one other thing you have to do is, in order for it to do use the go to plus plus function, you have to put it back onto bulb. Otherwise, it'll give you a uh, warning. Say it can't do that. So I press go to plus plus.
Exposure started. Exposure finished. Okay, then that's it. I'm all centered up. One thing I'm going to do now is I'm going to come back over here to gear and I'm going to press sync. Now the coordinates are synchronized with astrophotography tool, so I'm, uh, I'm looking pretty good right now. I'm going to turn off point craft and now I'm going to show you how I focus or how focus works using the uh, DSLR. Okay, so I'm centered on Aldebaran, so I'll use that one to do my frame and focusing. Although I, I, I bet you I'm really good right now because I, I didn't change any of the settings from last night. I'll crack the camera and I'll press live view. Let's see what I get. All right, it's very small and image, so I'm going to press two seconds. And I'm going to turn on this live view. I'm going to stretch it basically and see what I get. And it's still pretty small. However, one thing you can do is you can make the screen a lot bigger. And it's still pretty small. Now, one thing that's different as opposed to the DS, uh, DSLR versus the monochrome camera is the zoom function actually works. So I'm going to press, there we go. press zoom. And there we go. And now I'm going to turn off the uh, the, um, the stretch because I don't really need it for doing this. And I'm going to put the button off mask on here. All right, the button off mask is on there, and look at that. Yeah, let's see if I can. Turn that thing off. That looks pretty good. However, I got fooled last night when I did this, so I'm not taking anything for granted. Let me go to gear, and we'll put the or the tools. Actually, I'm sorry. We'll put the bot mouth maskade on, and I'll put that right in the center. Press recalc, and boy, that looks pretty good. But let's just adjust it a little bit to see what we get. Turn off the bottom off mask because I, I like looking at it uh, directly. In. I'm going to zoom in even more too. Yeah, that looks that looks good. So I'm I'm really happy with that right now. That looks pretty good. That it's centered up pretty well. So, anyways. Now it's uh, framed and focused. I will turn off all this gibberish here and zoom out and turn off that. And I'm ready to go to my objects now. Since I'm already aligned, I'm framed, I'm focused. Oh, one other thing you got to do right now is take off the button off mask. Okay, well, I'll show you uh, what I'm imaging later on when I go to the, the site, or my object. Okay, I'm back, and I'm going to go to my uh, object right now. I had to hold off uh, because uh, clouds came in, and that's what's been happening uh, most recently. Clouds have been coming in left and right. So I'm going to put it to live view, and I'm still on Aldebaran, and I'm going to go over to 
tools, not tools, gear, objects, and I've got my object that's, I had to custom make it because uh, it wasn't in the database, so I actually went on Stellarium and programmed the right ascension and declination, and there it is, and I'll press go to. Sling right now. It's really good focus. I can actually see some stars in there, so that, that's I'm very happy about that. And next, I'm going to go to Point Craft Object. Press OK. And I'm going to turn it off live view. And I'm going to take a quick Two second shot. I'm going to press solve. I'm going to press sync down to object. Okay. And go back to camera and put it on bulb. Press go to. Okay, now I'm on my object, and I'll turn on PHD2 guiding and uh, start guiding and start imaging. Okay, so I turn on PHD2. Sorry about that. Connect all. Turn on the loop. Press tools. Auto select star. And turn it on. And it's going to do its calibration. While it's calibrating, I'm going to go back to the camera and select my imaging plan. And here it is, I see 2162, and I've got 90 second exposures at 800 ISO, and I'll do 60 of them. I, don't, I doubt I'll get all 60 of them. I think it's going to hit a tree, or I'm going to be in the trees beforehand. I've decided to go with uh, 800 ISO as of late. Uh, Shannon Calvert, a imager that lives around here, uh, recommended going using 800 rather than 1600 for DSL DSLRs, and he was absolutely correct. Uh, uh, there's much less noise at 800, even though I have to take longer exposures. The the noise um, was much less, so it's it's actually worth it. Okay, let me just see how I'm doing with calibration. And there's nothing else I have to say or I can think of right now. Um, 
pause this until it calibrates. Okay, well, I'm back and you can see it's uh, guiding and I'm going to press start. Exposure started. Now one thing I'm going to do is I'm going to before I leave I'm going to check the exposure to make sure everything uh, looks pretty good to make sure my focus really is uh, spot on. I'm going to pause it until it uh, the, the exposure is done. There's no point in waiting around for like another minute. Okay, I'm back. And in about 10 seconds we'll find out what kind of image I've got. The guiding looks like it's pretty good. Uh, right down here. It's, it's what I usually get exposure with this scope. Finished. Here we go. Exposure started. Okay, well that it doesn't look like much here, but it's um it's actually pretty good. You can see it's an HA Nebula. Um, there's it's got three main parts, and there's a lot of colorful stars on the outside that um that I'm going to try to uh, create a um, slightly wider field because I like the uh, the star field here as well. Anyways, that's all I have. I hope this was helpful and. Uh, this is like I said this will be my hopefully my last DSLR image um, using uh, astrophotography tool for a little while anyways I did buy a new 200 millimeter Canon camera lens however so I'm gonna uh, look to be taking some wide field imaging uh, when the weather warms up and, and I can have time to play around with it anyways We'll see you later. Thank you.